Hey, Tony, how's it going? Hey, Spencer. How's everything? Um, so uh, I want to say thank you so much for being uh, willing to throw some of your musical expertise and skills onto this song that we're all working on together. Um, I'm super excited because I've never really written a song this way before, and I know it is not at all. Like, if I just sat at home and recorded all of these parts myself, um, I know it would be so far from what it's going to be, and that really excites me because it's a song that I wouldn't have been able to write on my own um, that like none of us would have been able to write entirely on our own um, which is really cool um, did you give it a listen I did yeah I did I had, I had a chance to to kind of get familiar with the song and uh, really really try to get into like the the message behind the song and and, and kind of the overall tone and feel of it I think is is pretty important um, even before laying down any tracks. Did I send you the outline that has like the chord progression that I played and stuff? No. Okay. No, I got, I got the chords on my own just by, by listening to it. That could actually be a thing is like where you like you don't get what I wrote and you might be like, oh, what if I did something else? Like, oh, I think with the melody, this could be substituted or like I'm... I accidentally heard this chord as this chord, but I actually prefer this this other chord. Like, would you prefer less information? Um, sh I mean, sure. If we, if we want to do that initially, the the one chord uh, that I was a little uh, intrigued by was was the uh, I think you're playing like a B minor chord in, in the in the in the B section, and then it it goes back to like a B seven. Is that happening at all? There is a there is a B seven chord in there because there's like a secondary dominant. It's like C with like a descending bass line down to A, mm -hmm. then to B seven to an E minor chord. So sort of that like uh, that five of six figure major three five of six thing. Okay, yeah, I love that little line right there. I just think there's there's some cool things that we could do, um, you know, there with some different textures and stuff. Cool. So. Um, yeah. Other than that, I think harmonically, I, I got a pretty good sense. If we want to have some fun with that and, and just kind of compare uh, share notes afterwards, I think that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I, I, I almost prefer that people know less so that they are getting less influence for me so that it's more of them. As a songwriter myself, I think uh, I, I enjoy writing with other people. Um, and to be honest with you, I've never done I've never written a song um, with other with other uh, friends and collaborators online before, so um, this is a fairly new experience for me as well, and, and yeah. uh, happy to to kind of jump into it in this in this way. Um, do you have any questions for me in terms of going forward? Yeah, I I um I'm already hearing like an expanded arrangement. I don't know if you're if you're set on the on the song length right now, or if you're or if you're comfortable with. No, Wait, definitely. No. If you want to, if you're like, if you're feeling like, oh, this verse could be extended or like I am hearing like a musical interlude that could be placed between these two sections. Um, really what I have is just like bare bones. So if anything, if you want to add or subtract anything, um, like definitely I'm super stoked to see what that, uh, what that might look like. Cause right, right now I think the songs like the recording we have is like two minutes long anyway. So yeah. I feel like it needs a little bit of like, if we want it to get to be like that sort of like three, three and a half minute pop song length, um, like as most pop songs do, they'll have like some interlude, they'll have a little more intro, they'll have a little bit of outro. Yeah, that's one of the things I noticed right now with um, that the vocals are essentially going through the entire song. Yeah. Um, so there, there isn't kind of like that moment of reflection or that moment where like, where we can just kind of have like a, a melody kind of cut through and, and, uh, and take some of the the attention for for a while. So, um, I'm I'm definitely looking at that, looking at the possibilities of of um, of, of putting in a set uh, a melody like interlude, a melodic interlude, like right oh, after cool. uh, the B section. Uh -huh. um, so uh, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, I want to have some fun. feel free to stretch and expand, like move around. This the soundtrack project is yours right now. So, like, love to see what you do with it. Okay, great. That was my next question. I just wanted to make sure if if I was free to you have to start you have my permission. Yeah. I mean, don't like delete things that other people did, but if you need to like mute someone else's track, or if you need to leave a space where it's like, oh, I extended this section four measures because I wanted to add in this thing, Mary, I just took a drum pattern you had and copy and pasted it, or like Mary, I didn't put any drums in there yet because I wanted you to like 
get ideas based off what I came up with. Um, like if it, if it ends up leaving holes, that's totally cool because we're you know eventually we'll all go in and fill them all up. Day four. So the first thing I want to do is I want to listen to the song, right? I want to get nice and uh, familiar with with it. So I'm gonna go go ahead and uh, just press play here. Grown into my new perspective Grown into skin that feels like mine I'm here with my dear new collective Been figuring out a day at a time You seem to gather at 17 So I felt broken in So as you can tell it goes into a B section um, Right there at a measure 13 I'm gonna go ahead and focus just on the first part. I know, um, you know, usually I'd like to listen to the entire song a few times. I've actually already uh, heard it a few times, so so I'm kind of familiar with it. Um, and at that point, you want to just maybe focus in on particular sections. So um, that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna focus just on that first uh, that intro uh, into what sounds like a verse. Okay, so I'm gonna take it back to the top and. The first uh, pad that I've selected is called Spider Pad. Um, now, one of the things to keep in mind before I even start to lay down any tracks, what I want to do is I'm looking for two, th uh, two things. I'm looking for some holes in the recording where we could potentially um, throw in some, some melodic lines. Um, and I'm also just looking for ways to layer the, the sound and to, and to thicken it up a bit um, by giving it maybe some cool reverb uh, sounding effects so with a spider pad we kind of get like a nice sounds a little little spooky right all right so we're gonna go ahead and uh and uh give that a a, a test right here okay perspective grown in the skin that feels like mine I'm here with my dear new collective been figuring out a day at a time you all right so um, just you know again testing out the waters right now uh, listening to to the different parts so we're gonna go ahead and let's see what uh, what it sounds like with with everything else To my new perspective Grown into skin that feels like mine I'm here with my dear new collective Been figuring out a day at a time All right, so you know at this point this is just a like I said It's just a pad um, something to to add some layer. I'm still not 100% uh, com Comfortable with where it's at. I think uh, it needs even some more uh, more texture. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, try this other pad as well here. So again, I'm going into synthesizer for the instrument. And once we're in synth, we can go to pads. And then I'm gonna go for this one called February pad. Now again, I've already sorted through uh, a lot of these sounds. So I kind of have, I've made uh, a, like a favorites list of different uh, different patches that I like, but um, you obviously would want to do the same thing, uh, get comfortable with the different sounds, see what you have um, available to you for free and, and see what you can work with, okay? So um, I like the February pad. So if you notice, it's kind of, you know, it sounds a little similar to the spider, the spider pad in the sense that it, uh, it sustains, right? It's nice and, uh, Sustaining throughout the whole the whole uh, note. Okay, so I'm gonna see how that sounds like with uh, with the other pad in combination. Okay, so I'm gonna get out of here real quick. Start from the top, and here we go.
into my new perspective Grown into skin that feels like mine I'm here with my dear new collective Been figuring out a day at a time you Okay, so I like that, but then uh, halfway through it, I don't know if you could hear it, um, I actually started to go towards a lower octave and kind of, uh, you know, go uh, in a different direction than uh, the other pad. So I'm going to do that one more time and, uh, and do it a, a different way. Okay, here we go. perspective grown into skin that feels like mine I'm here with my dear new collective been figuring out a day at a time you all right so that is the second uh, pad layer that we have here I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bring this back a little bit so Let's uh let's hear just a just a few uh just a little snippet of of this section here. Grown into my new perspective. Grown into skin that feels like mine. I'm here with my dear new collective. Right, so it almost sounds like uh, one instrument right now, right? So I want to go ahead, uh, one of the cool things that you could do on Soundtrap is you can solo uh, each one. So I want to see what, uh, what we're working with here exactly, okay? So. As you can see, it does sound, you know, it does sound like one instrument when you're playing it, but then uh, when you isolate them individually, at that point you could hear, uh, you know, you could hear each each one and, and what it's bringing to uh, to the entire uh, sonic environment here. Um, now, another thing to keep in mind when we're when we're working on this is, um, you know, with, so now we have these two pads. When we're when we start to think about mixing, um, that's one of the things that I'm already thinking about is having one pad. On the left side, maybe hard left, another, uh, and then the the February pad on hard right. So at that point, we get really get that stereo feel, and it and it really starts to warm it up a bit. Okay, so um, let's keep on moving here. We're gonna let's see if we can focus a little bit on the uh, second section. You seem to gather at seventeen, so I felt broken in my age. I know my parents will miss me. But the sound check's over, and it's time to go on stage. The ink is dry now, it's time to turn the page. All right, so um, a lot going on there harmonically, right? There's definitely a, a good chunk of movement there. I'm going to go ahead and pick um, a nice a nice synth, another synth. As you can tell, I, I have a synth habit, uh, so it's really hard to, uh, to contain also. So here we are, we got... We got a lead synth right here. I'm gonna go over to one called Meow Lead. All right, so here it is. Ooh, I like this. One. So very different sounding than the other pads, right? At this point, uh, this is a lead synth. It's very strong, very powerful. Let's go ahead and uh, and give it give it a shot. Let's see how this sounds with uh, with the bridge with the uh, the B section here. All right. Been figuring out a day at a time. You seem to gather at seventeen. Whoops. We got the spider pad going here. So one of the things when we uh, switch. Oh, here we go. Make sure you have the uh, the track armed and uh, selected as well. Okay, so let's do that one more time here. Been figuring out a day at a time You seem to gather at 17 So 
I felt broken in my age I know my parents will miss me But the sound checks later And it's time to go on stage The ink is dry now It's time to turn the page Alright, so that's a nice uh, little lead synth section for you. You seem to gather it's seventeen. So I felt broken in my age. All that you guys are listening to it seems really strong, right? It seems really uh, up in front. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower the volume already and just kind of see how it feels. It's definitely not intended to be um, way up in the front as we have uh, vocals going on right there. So let's see how it sounds a little bit lower. You seem to gather it's seventeen. So I felt broken in my age I know my parents will miss me But the sound checks over And it's time to go on stage The ink is dry now It's time to turn the page the Alright So, as you can see the, the the synth has a different function uh, even depending on how up in front it is or how loud it is uh, or how soft it is it, it definitely takes on uh, different roles so um, I like the way I like where it's going and the direction with it now um, one of the things you know to keep in mind when you're working in sections it's really easy to kind of go down a rabbit hole and just start layering and start creating things section by section and, and uh, by the time you're done with with one section um, or the second section you go back and you realize hmm like do they even w work together do they even match so I'm gonna go ahead and just listen to uh, the first two sections uh, that we've worked on so far perspective grown into skin that feels like mine I'm here with my dear new collective been figuring out a day at a time you seem to gather it's 17 so I felt broken in my age I know my parents will miss me but the sound checks over And it's time to go on stage The ink is dry now It's time to turn the page Alright Cool, so as you can see um, Already, you know, it has a little more character um, It already had a lot of character When I first got it But now it's starting to get filled up There's more, uh, more instruments involved More sounds um, So I, I like that direction I like what's, what's happening with this um, in the next section, we're going to talk about maybe adding some additional harmonies, um, some additional pads to uh, really fill it up and be able to send it um, off uh, to Scott so he can uh, add some some cool guitar lines, okay? So we're going to go ahead and, and uh, leave it as is for now, and I'll see you in the next section. Thank you. <laughs>